gonna do, right? Uh, go down here. Oh, I wonder if... I can't remember. Oh, it's been a while, so do bear with me here. So there's fun stuff to do in this angle. Right. Do it now. Let's um get back to the station. We're gonna go back to Cross and we can save and then call it then just call it a day for today because I got I got a couple of other things I may need to take care of. Uh oh, excuse me sir. I'm sorry, the tram is out of order right now. So, I'm really sorry. I'm afraid you won't be able to leave until it's fully repaired. Too, too bad. It happens, down. Sure. They know. They stay at the hotel. They know me. I'm going to talk to them. I'll let you know once the repairs are completed. Get the chance to be together like this, huh? Fine, how about it? Can you tell me what's happened so far? I don't really know what's going on because I wasn't here in the beginning, Sheriff. Yeah, I'm for that. Good idea. I've been here since the beginning and I still don't know what the hell's going on either. Ron, what the hell's going on? Come on, tell us. Alright. Whew. We're going after Sephiroth. Sephiroth must be in search of the promised land. Because suddenly he thinks he's Abraham from the Bible. <laughs> the promised land. What? Land full of Mexican energy. I mean, Marco energy. <laughs> or at least that's what the Shinra believe. I don't know if it actually exists. Cetras will return to the promised land, a land that promises boundless happiness. Cetra? That's some kind of disease? <laughs> That's what the ancients call themselves. Hey, didn't you listen to the elders at Cosmo Canyon? You don't know where the promised land of the ancients is. You search and travel until you feel it. You just know that you found it. Eris, can you feel it too? I think so. So Sephiroth is traveling the world because he's searching for the promised land? Is that it? He's searching for that and one other thing. The black materia. I heard from Dio that a man in a black cape was looking for the black materia snarf. I've never heard of black materia. How many men with black capes and number tattoos are there? Enough to make espadas and iron cars. Uh -huh. Yo, yeah, of course, my tattoo is number 13. How did you get that tattoo? Hojo put it on me. The rest are us war scars, but the number was done by Hojo. There's at least 13? No. I think Hojo did something to those men in the black capes. I don't know what it has to do with Sephiroth, though. That's why I think we should just go after Sephiroth himself. Yeah, me too. It's just all too damn confusing. And... I'm sorry, forget it. I think I'm tired. I'm going to bed now. What was that all of a sudden? What? That's it. I'm going to bed. Is that all? How about the black material, sir? You wouldn't understand even if I told you. Now all we gotta do is take action. We're starting tomorrow. Run? I'm number 13. Am I going to go back too? I don't know what Hojo did to you, but you've been alright so far, right? But... Be strong. 
but hurry. Stop it, Scooby-Doo. Be strong. Tifa? You're not the only one who's worried. I don't know what's going on, but we're in a bad situation, Sheriff. Hey, Steve. Let's go back to our rooms. Oh, damn. Austin's falling asleep. With his eyes open. Because this is 1987, after all. Oh, what is this? An Iron Maiden? Iron Man and a guillotine. <laughs> What's wrong? Let's go on a date. Nani? A D-A-T-E. Or have you ever gone on one? Whoa. Not a real one. No, just a messed up kid. Oh well, come on, let's go. Hey, hey. Yeah, there's a whole morning star in there and everything. Tonight's enchantment night. All the attractions are free. How about you two? There's going to be an entertaining show at Event Square. Oh, let's go. Oh, damn, I don't even get a chance to, like, save or nothing. This is dragging me into it. Congratulations to our hundredth couple today. Two will play the lead in tonight's show. What? Oh, now it's not hard. Just play it however you want, and the rest of the cast will cover up for you. Come this way. Hey! This sounds like fun. Come on, Rob. Let's do it. Oh, well. So be it. Long, long ago, an evil shadow appeared over the peaceful kingdom of Galdia. Princess Rosa was kidnapped by the evil dragon king, Valvedos. What will become of her? Just then, the legendary hero, Alfred, appears. Oh, you must be the legendary hero, Alfred. Hey, it's your line. Yeah, you. Ahem. Oh, you must be the legendary hero, Alfred. By my soul, please, please say Princess Rosa. <laughs> this is a Now, please talk to the king. Oh, God, they're all going to twirl in here. Oh, legendary hero Alfred, you've come to save my beloved Rosa. <laughs> Yo, this head wobbling is funny. At the peak of a dangerous mountain dwells the evil dragon King Valvedos, who's kidnapped Princess Rosa. But you can't beat the evil dragon king now. Talk to one who can help you. Oh, my head hurts from all that head wobbling. I am the great wizard, Vorman. What do you wish to know? Uh, the evil dragon king's weaknesses? Ah, the weakness of the evil dragon king! It must be... It must be... Yes, it must be... True love! The power of love is the only weapon that can withstand the fangs of the evil dragon king. Oh, what is going to happen next? Oh, legendary hero, look! That looks so wrong. Look at the dragon with humping ears. I am the evil dragon king, Barbados. I have not harmed the princess. I've been expecting you! Please help me, legendary hero! How is that? Here I come, legendary hero Alfred. Why is everyone talking like they're wobbly-headed? I already know your name! And now, legendary hero, there is what will happen to your beloved. A kiss! The power of true love! You know what? 
is the princess. Oh, Amy, Alfred. Ah, curses! The power of love! Oh, behold! Love has triumphed! Now let's all return and celebrate! Yes, yes, let's! Woo! And they all twirl away. Now, how profound the power of love. And so the legendary hero Alfred and our story live on happily forever after. Well, that wasn't so bad. Oh, that was fun. Hey, let's go on the gondola. Oh wait, hold on one second, folks. Two, please. Here you are. Two tickets. Enjoy the sights of Gold Saucer. Wow, how nice. Oh, look, Ron. So cool. The days of old CGI. First off, it bothered me how you look exactly alike. Two completely different people, but look exactly the same. Way you talk, gesture. I think I was just human again, and you. But you're different. Things are different. It's real me. <laughs> For those mega death fans. So I had fun tonight. Let's do it again. Don't you like being with me? That's not it. I hate that. I'm glad. Next time we come, let's take our time and go on the right. Oh look at the time, we better get going. What are you doing? Get over here! Oh, you. No, no, no! No! Don't. Ah! Ah! Where 
he go? I just saw him go through it. Why did he go all the way up there? Dude, what are you doing, Casey? <gasps> you brat! Well done. Hey! Wait a second, I won't run or hide. I was a spy. It's hired by the Shinra. I trusted you. I can't believe you. I couldn't help it. How about if we go on like nothing ever happened? Bro, you want us to just... No, no, no way, cat. You got a lot of guts acting like a friend but being a spy. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, 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 no. Eso no? No. Then what are you going to do? Kill me? You'd just be wasting your time if you try. Spy is just a toy anyway. Yeah, we know. You're the cat, not the giant Mogbot. Mario's body is Shinra headquarters in Midgar. I'm controlling this toy cat from the... What? So you're from Shinra. Who, who are you? Tell me. Well, I can't tell you my name. You better not be Hojo, because I'd be real mad. We're not getting anywhere. See, I told you, talking won't do any good, so can we just continue our journey? You think I'm joking? Alright, yes, I'm a Shinra employee. But we're not entirely enemies, sir. Something bothers me. I think it's your way of life. You don't get paid, you don't get praised, you don't get laid. Yet you still risk your lives and continue on your journey. See, that makes me... Makes me think about my life. I don't think I'd feel too good if things ended the way they are now, Snarf. And so on, and so on. He'll never tell the truth. Once a spy, always a spy. Can't go on with someone like that. Come on, get real. Just as I thought. Talking won't make a bit of difference. I prepared something in case that's happened. Why don't you listen to this? Papa! Tifa! Hey, that's Marlene. He's a flower lady. Flower lady. So, you have to do as I say. You're, you're, you're the worst. I didn't want to do this using dirty tricks and taking hostages. But this is how it is. No compromises. So why don't we go on as we did? Tomorrow's the Temple of the Ages, right? I know where it is, so I'll tell you later. Of course, we'll get there after the Shinra. We'll have to deal with it. Well, we're stuck. I'll have to do what he says. I hope Marlene's alright. What will happen tomorrow? Yo, I forgot about this part of the story with, with uh, K-Sith and how much of a douche she is. Darn, you can't open the Iron Maiden. You got a darn guillotine over here. You got a Morning Star. Ooh, you got a whole hexagram here. Damn. What took you so long? Oh, yeah. By the Temple of the Ancients. I think we take a tiny Bronco east towards the sea. We should be able to find it. Oh, then. Shall we get going? Who's going to go? I want to go. I'm going for sure. Of course. Alright. Yeah. Tifa. Can't take it with us. And see you later. Ought to drag his ass, but honestly, he got me all hella pissed now. Alright. So we know the deal, folks. At least we got to uh, a crucial plot line here. Now, let's get back to normal. Now we know that this whole thing being out of order was a lie. It was set up by the Shinra. Thanks to Casey. I mean, uh, Snarf. Snarf being a complete douchebag in the half. That, that was low. That was absolutely low. Cloud was right when he said we the one. That's almost like saying we the ones. <laughs> Alright. Skip on over. Da, 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 da.